Hello, third graders. Mr. Batsuk here. I got a new song for you. It's called The Canoe Song. And we will discover a new rhythm pattern for us in third grade. So, The Canoe Song, you have to imagine that you're, in, you're inside your canoe in the middle of a river and you're paddling. You have the paddle in your hand. And you're dipping it in the water, you're swinging it around, and you're dipping it in the water again, and swinging it around. All right? And so that's why the song starts like this. The words go, my paddle's keen and bright. Keen means sharp. And bright, because that's probably made out of some kind of aluminum, and the sun's flashing on it, and it's bright. So the word keen means strong, I mean, means sharp. My paddle's keen and bright flashing with silver, probably because of the sun shining on it. Now, you're in the middle of the river and you look up in the sky and you see geese flying, and the geese are flying in a V formation. They have one goose in the front and then they're following each other. It makes it easier for them to cut through the wind and fly together. So you look up and you're following the, the wild goose flight. So it's follow the wild goose flight. And you say, dip, dip swing. So here are the words for the first verse. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. So now I'm going to sing it for you. And what you're going to do, of course, is keep the beat. Mm -hmm. and just listen to it. Here I go, my paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. So that's the first part. Now the word keen means sharp. You can also use, like somebody might say, hey, you have a keen mind, a sharp mind, a bright mind. That means you're bright, you're smart. All right, let me do that again. This time, tell me, are the beats grouped in twos or threes? All right, so afterwards you're gonna show me. Here I go, my paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver, follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. Your answer is two, right? I feel it too, one. Two. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. The first thing you have to do is learn the song. Get that song inside you and keep the beat. That's important, right? Now you know that the beats are grouped in twos. You can also conduct one, two. Press, lift. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. Now I haven't sung, oh, I forgot to show you. Beats of group in two, right? And there is the time signature, two ta meter, right? Now, I haven't sung the second line, the second verse. The second verse goes like this. Dip, dip, and swing her back, flashing with silver, swift as the wild goose flies. Dip, dip, and swing. Say melody, just different words. Now we're going to discover this new rhythm, and it happens at the beginning of each sentence. I'll clap that new rhythm as I sing the first verse. Here I go, my paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver, follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. All right, so that's the new rhythm. All right. Now, the first time it happens, it's the first line when I go, my paddle's keen and bright. What words did I sing that rhythm on? My paddle's keen and bright. What's your answer? Did you say, my paddles? That's it, not keen, just my paddles. All right, now, how many syllables is that? Three, my paddles. All right, three syllables. Well, let's figure out how many beats is that? Those three syllables and how many beats? So here now, you're thinking of the beat. Okay, how many beats? Here I go, my paddle's keen and bright. Don't count keen. My paddle's keen, don't count that one. So how many beats did you count? Ready, go. My paddle's keen and bright. Did you count two beats? My paddle's. So, it takes two beats. That's very important to know. So now, 
let me take my whiteboard and let's figure this out. This new rhythm. So I have one beat and two beats. All right. Okay. Now, I know that ta can be my beat. Another way, right? Two beats. Ta, ta. But now, you said there were three syllables. Hmm. So what can I do? Well, I can break up my first beat into toddies. So I got one, two, and make this a ta. I could say ta di ta. There's three sounds, right? One, two, three, or three syllables. I can make it this way. Now, back in kindergarten, we used to say ta was long, a long sound, long, long. And this was short, short. So this one would be like short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Let's see if that rhythm fits. Here I go, my pedal. Was that the same as short, short, long? No, it's not. Okay, that one not working. So let me reverse it and uh, do the other way. Start with a long sound and go to two short shorts on the beat. Long, short, short, long, short, short, ta, ta, di, ta, ta, di. Let's see if that rhythm fits. Mm -hmm. Does it sound like my pedal? No, it doesn't. So let's look at this. My pedal. Let's try to figure out with the words short and long. Here's the first sound. My pedal. My. It sounds pretty short, right? My pedal. Oh, then it becomes long. Short, long. And then another short. Short, long, short. So I can do it that way. Short, long, short, 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 long, right? Short, long, short, ta di ta. Short, long, short, ta ta. Short, long, short, ta di ta. Short, long, short, ta. And then a rest. So now we have to figure this out. How do you write this new rhythm of short, long, short? Well, sometimes I like to say this story to little kids. I say, you know, ta di, it's almost like a brother and sister. They're, you know, standing together. Let me draw a toddy. Mm-hmm. Two note heads. All right. But they're quarreling. They're arguing. So mother had to step in between them, right? And say, you go that way, you go this way. So they had to let go of hands. And so my first ta right here is going to be let go. That's what this is right here. And then ta stood in the middle. Okay. And this one had to let go too. And it's right here. Okay, so here is my new rhythm of short, long, short. All right, short, long, short. Or I could say, I always start the beat with ta. Mm -hmm. Ta, I should write that nicer. Ta, and the middle part would right, be D. I have to hold it longer, right? Ta, D, and this is also a D. Ta, D, D. That's another way of saying this. Ta di di ta di ta. All right. Now, let me show you my song again and show you how they wrote out the rhythm in the beginning. You see right here? They do have ta di di. Now, music, this rhythm, this feel of boom, 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 is called syncopation. Syncopation, interesting word. That's when you have little like accents off the beat. Bum, 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 right? Not always on the beat. My paddle, no syncopation there. But if I go, my paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver, that's called syncopation. Now, I know some other teachers that they have this, they call it this, they go like this, they kind of make up a word, syncopa, and they use that one. I kind of like that too, syncopa. Right, you can kind of hear it. Cinco pa, right? So every time I do that, I can go cinco pa ta di ta, cinco pa ta ta, cinco pa ta di ta, cinco pa ta, and then a rest. That's in one way, or you can go ta di di ta di ta. Either way works fine. All right, and so that is our new song. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you about syncopation is that when you do a beat, the beat has the down part and the up part, right? Down, 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 down. That likes that would be like saying all oh, ta, 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 ta. And if I do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, that 
would be like ta di ta di ta di ta di. What if I just did the up parts like this? Up, 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 up. That's syncopation. When you go up. So when I'm doing the song, I'm going down, up, up, down, right? Down, up, up, down, up, down. My paddle's beaming bright. My paddle's keen and bright. So if you want a little, a little challenge, try this. Four beats of downs, then four beats of ups. Like this you go, down, 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 down. Up, 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 down, 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 down. Up, 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 down. And I'm always just keeping the beat right here. All right, I wasn't doing, I wasn't clapping the downs or the ups. I actually, when you do the beat, you're doing the downs. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. Another way is you can do the four beats with your fingers and go down, 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 down. Up, 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 down. You have to feel the down in order to feel the up. Okay, let me sing the song again. And end it. All right, first verse. One, two, here I go. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight. Dip, dip, and swing. Oh, I forgot to show you that it's in the La Pentatone, right? Mm -hmm. If I did the whole scale, la da la, it sounds like this. La ti do re mi fa so la, like the minor scale. But I'm skipping every time we have a half step. La do re mi, skip. So la. I put this in parentheses too because in the song we don't really use this. The song goes mi mi re do la la, do do re mi la. Mi mi re do la la, la la mi la. Ends with high la. All right, there's the song. See you later, goodbye.